Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. No, we were not looking for a theater. We were looking for a small investment property. I happened to see an ad in the Suffolk Times, a local paper, saying the Suffolk Theater is for sale. Of course, we spent a lot of time doing research, visiting other theaters, talking to theater groups um, before we did make that final decision to purchase it. But it was love at first sight. When we first saw the building, I saw it as it is today. I didn't see it with the plaster falling down, water damage, carpet destroyed, old seats. I saw this vision. People that have been here before, they remember it. And there's so many memories in this place. I mean, we've heard stories of people getting their first kiss, going out on their first date, uh, people getting engaged. You gotta remember, this theater has been here for, well, it's here 80 years. That's a lot of history. There are very few Art Deco uh, theaters like this left. When the multiplexes came in, the theaters went down. A little bit of everything. We're gonna do, try to set up and do uh, bigger names on Friday and Saturday. We have a projector and we have a screen that rolls down uh, so we can do dinner and a movie where people come in and we had Italian food with an Italian movie. Well, the theater, we, we used all the original colors. They were found under layers of paint, scraped them off, found the original colors. So really the theater, the colors you see, are the colors it was in 1933 when it opened. The original carpeting we had a very small piece of. It was buried over two other layers of carpeting that they put down. So this is as close as we could get to that faded small piece of carpeting. The lighting's all original. It was here from 1933. There are a couple stained glasses that we replaced, but that's about it. We had to pull the stage out a little bit because it was only about eight foot stage because uh, it just had to uh, facilitate a screen. The ticket booth is a major part of most movie theaters. It hasn't been changed at all. The tile work, everything's original here. These four uh, posters we found here, this is the first picture that was shown here in 1933, Footlight on Parade and then Dirty Dancing. That was the last one in 1987. Here there was just a little small concession stand for the movie theater, but we've got a, an island bar here. There once was a telephone booth over there, so we kept it. All the exit signs, except for other areas where we had to bring it up to fire code, they're all original. There's a water fountain over there, which was in perfect condition. It's a beautiful Art Deco with tile with little fish on it. We cleaned it all up and it just came out spectacular. So it was kind of nice to keep that little detail. It was set up tonight in cabaret style, so it's all tables of, uh, tables of fours. Uh, we have a very sophisticated sound system here. We've got these very tiny uh, surround sound, unobtrusive speakers throughout the theater so that when you, you come in, you really don't see the sound, you hear the sound. We start seeing where the tickets, people are coming with a buying the tickets uh, from Massapequa, Garden City, uh, Montauk, Orient, yeah, they're coming. Well, I'll tell you what it means to our downtown. I've not watched the show Oranges of the New Black, but uh, Jodie Foster is filming at Suffolk Theater tomorrow uh, scenes for Oranges of the New Black. So when you start to think about somebody like Jodie Foster coming to the town of Riverhead to look at Suffolk Theater, that says it all. I mean, it's the crown jewel of downtown. Uh, it, it was vacant, abandoned, uh, eyesore is, is, is the nicest thing you could say about it. And uh, what the Castaldi's, what Bob and Diane Castaldi have done to that theater, it's just stunning. Suffolk Theater uh, renovations in Riverhead. Uh, they've done a terrific job there. And what's neat about some of our old theaters, whether it was in Bayshore or Patchog or Northport or Westbury, is these theaters were, you know, the architecture of these theaters and the way they were designed, you know, people don't build buildings like them anymore. That is helping with the overall revitalization of downtown Riverhead. 
you see a lot of new life happening there. Uh, Suffolk Community College put a culinary school down there. You have some new bars and some new restaurants. And there have been efforts to bring more multifamily housing in that area. I and mean, if you have apartments, that means people are going to be living in your downtowns and then patronizing your um, uh, buildings and your business establishments. If I was in Nassau County, rather than deal with the traffic going into Manhattan, paying the toll in, paying the toll out, if you get in the HOV lane from uh, Nassau County at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, you can get here in 45 minutes. Parking's free. We've got great, great restaurants in Riverhead. We do food as well. Why not? Mm -hmm.